Welcome to the Prospect House Civil War Museum. Uh, this is a collection of my great-grandfather's Civil War story and his artifacts. Uh, Cap Kolauer was the last Civil War survivor in Ottertail County and he left behind over 200 Civil War letters and a couple hundred Civil War artifacts. He was with Sherman on his march to the sea, part of Wilder's Lightning Brigade of Mounted Infantry, the first special forces. In the U.S. military, he got the first assault rifle in the U.S. military, the Spencer Repeater, capable of firing 20 shots a minute. That was a real game changer and it probably saved his life. Though he didn't have too easy time of it. Over here I've got the sleeves to his uniform. If you notice, there's bullet holes in each shoulder where he was shot. He was shot the first time in the Battle of Chickamauga through the right shoulder. The second time he was shot through the left shoulder at Muscle Shoals, Alabama. And this is a copy of a letter, and on top of the letter it says, Blood from wound received at Muscle Shoals. That's my great-grandfather's blood on that letter when he was shot through his left shoulder. That's the Bible that he was carrying when he was shot, letters that he got when he was in the hospital with typhoid fever. He nearly died of typhoid fever. That's his nurse that he had, McRoberts from Ohio and a bottle of typhoid fever serum. They're kind of hard to find these days. The Civil War Museum is full of interesting artifacts of every shape and kind. Over here we've got a gun that I have showed to over 20,000 people and everyone has heard of this gun and no one has ever seen one. That is the original pea shooter. It's made for shooting dried peas. You cock the spring on the top Drop a pea down the barrel and go out and shoot your brother in the head. We've got a collection of Civil War money. Real Confederate money is hand cut with scissors. A Confederate $5 bill was worth $5 in gold if you won the war. When Lincoln was shot, they found a Confederate $5 bill in his pocket. The doily that Cap's sister Susan made for him during the Civil War while she was waiting for her brothers to come home Cap, her brother, came home standing up. Her other brother came home laying down dead underneath that burial shroud. There's an endless number of things to see in this museum. Over here we've got a Lincoln display. My family saved everything to do about Lincoln. I've got enough Lincoln things to fill up the whole room here. Uh, 1909 commemorates the uh, 100th anniversary of his birthday. I've got 134 pages all about Lincoln. That's pretty interesting. 1938, uh, about the plot to steal his body and hold it for ransom. Here's a piece of Lincoln trivia that everybody should know and hardly anybody does. His statue of Abraham Lincoln in Washington, D.C. was carved by a sculptor from the Gallaudet School for the Deaf. And the sculptor carved Lincoln's hands so he's making the letters A and L in sign language. Over here is a picture of my great-grandfather holding the flag that his sister Susan made in 1862, and right here in the display case is the flag. This is the real stuff here. You hardly get Civil War history that, this, that is this pertinent. I was wounded here, September 19, 1863. He was shot through the right shoulder right there at Brotherton House, Chickamauga. I lay here all night after wounded. The next morning, one of his buddies came by with a canteen that was half full of mud. He drank it and he said it tasted great. Then he lay there two more days before Dr. Helm finally got there and he took a rag and soaked it in kerosene and pulled it through the bullet hole and out the back. Medicine was pretty uncomplicated back then. I could do that kind of surgery. Four months later, he got shot again through the left shoulder and Dr. Helm did the same thing, all over again. Then his toenails became infected and he nearly, and he had his toenails pulled out. Being in the army is a lot of fun. Over here is a copy of the, the original letter. This is the original letter with his blood on it right there when he was shot through the left shoulder. I brought this book of letters to the Antique Roadshow in Bismarck and they said it was so valuable they couldn't give me an estimate on it. I think probably one of the most interesting things is his Civil War library collection here. He's got great books in there. 
the entire regimental history of the Illinois regiments, of which he was part of, and his name is in there. This book here is, mu is a must read for half of the people in, the, in Minnesota. Uncle Tom's Cabin in Norwegian. Stop and visit the Civil War Museum. I think you'd find it fascinating. The upstairs is great too.